بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم دس ویڈیو ویل لرن اباؤٹ تھیوننس تھیورم بریفلی ویل ریکیپ وٹ ایور وی ہیو لرن ان سیکٹ ون اباؤٹ تھیوننس اینڈ نارٹنس تھیورم تھیوننس تھیورم از دیٹ از اینی سیکٹ کین بی ریڈیوس ٹو اے سمپل وولٹیج سورس ایکویلنٹ وولٹیج سورس ایٹ دس ٹرمینل and an equivalent impedance in case of a AC it was a resistance in case of a DC circuit so V thevenin is a voltage source and an impedance in series makes the thevenin equivalent circuit similarly the Norton circuit is instead of a voltage source we have a current source at the terminal AB when shorted and the same equivalent impedance that we got so z thevenin is equal to z norton and the relation between the two uh, could be that v thevenin is z n into i n so i n multiplied by z n will give v thevenin and z thevenin is same as z n let's uh, solve example now in this circuit we have to find the thevenin equivalent at the terminal ab so this is the terminal ab so we have to find the equivalent voltage at this point which would be called v thevenin and also we have to find the equivalent impedance across this terminal by shorting the voltage source so that will be z thevenin so let's start Now to find V thevenin, if we move this branch down, so uh, it will be as shown here. Now you can see from this diagram that this 10 ohm resistance is aloof. There is no power supply, there is no current passing through this from this circuit. That means the voltage drop across this is zero. So VAB is actually whatever is the voltage drop across this capacitor. So let's find out the voltage drop across the capacitor. So by voltage deviant rule, we can find the voltage across the capacitor, which will be our VAB or V thevenin. So V thevenin or VAB is equal to the total voltage. 3020 divided by the total impedance of the circuit so 6 plus j2 plus minus j4 so this is the total impedance multiplied by the impedance across which we are trying to measure the voltage so multiplied by minus j4 and by solving Uh, we can find the answer to be 18.97 angle minus 51.57 now you may pause this video and see the actual calculations as uh, we had told earlier that for any division to take place uh, the terms must be in polar form so j4 is in polar form this one is in polar form and this when simplified is 6 minus j2 so this also has to be converted in polar form only then we can carry out the division and the addition of the angles now this is for normal calculators but if you have a scientific calculator you can do the calculation directly also so this is uh, how we got a v thevenin z thevenin So to find Z thevenin, we have to remove the source, shorten it. So when we shorten the source, this becomes the circuit. Now you can see that uh, this branch is in parallel with uh, J4. So the circuit will become like this. And now we can solve, we can solve these two in parallel. And by adding with 10 ohm, we can find the total impedance z thevenin so it is 10 this 
plus these in parallel so minus j4 parallel uh, 6 plus j2 and again uh, some of the steps have been omitted here but if you use your calculator finally you will get the answer to be 12.4 minus j3.2 ohm so this is z theorem so now we have v theorem and z theorem books so we can draw the equivalent theorem circuit so this is v theorem we calculated earlier and z theorem we calculated here so this is the equivalent circuit now in this example there was no load given across this but if there was a load given we should have removed the load and after calculating the theorem circuit then we could connect the load again and find out current or voltage or whatever is required as another example we have to find in the theorem equivalent at terminal a and b now this circuit uh, don't be afraid to um, uh, by seeing this circuit this can be simply redrawn like this so now there are two arms left arm and right arms redrawing this circuit and we can assume a current i1 in this branch and i2 in this branch and by solving either this loop or this loop we can find v theorem so from from the circuit i1 is this total voltage which is across this divided by the two resistance so 120 angle 75 is the voltage source divided by 8 minus j6 will give i1 and because this voltage source is also coming directly across this branch so same way we can find i2 that is we divide the voltage source by the branch resistance and that is how we find I2. So I1 and I2 known, now we can find V3. So we are taking this loop BCD, BCD, EAB. So this is the loop uh, that we are considering for V feminine, but you can also use. Uh, this loop you will get the same answer so if we are taking this loop then uh, we are starting from here V theorem minus 4 times I2 so minus 4 times I2 and then we come here it is minus 6 times I1 equals 0 so V theorem equals 4 I2 plus J6 I1 and now putting the values of I1 and I2 in this, we can find the answer. So let's put the values. And again, you have to uh, do calculations. Same way that I mentioned, you have to convert these into polar and then solve. And then finally, you will get the answer uh, as shown here. Now to find Z theorem, we have to shorten the voltage source, we shorten the voltage source, so this becomes the circuit. Now pay attention very carefully, this branch is actually connecting D and F, so that means it is shorting D and F. So we can redraw this circuit like this, we take these two arms out and we shorten D and F, so we shorten D and F and again if you bring these two points closer then you can see that this arm um, and this comes into parallel so minus J6 is coming into parallel with 8 and similarly 4 and J12, 4 and J12 they also come in parallel so by solving these two in parallel and these two in parallel and then adding the two we can find uh, Z7 in and that is what we have done in the first case 
we find Z1, Z1 is the parallel of these two and then we find Z2 which is parallel of 4 and J12 and then finally adding the two we find Z7. So this is the equivalent circuit uh, we have uh, for V7 and Z7. Now, if you have a dependent source, how to find out Thevenin's equivalent for the circuit? So, the technique is that you find the V Thevenin in normal manner, but to find Z Thevenin, we deactivate all independent source and we connect a test voltage or a test current source to find out uh, the value of Z7. So let's see with the help of an example. Uh, this is the circuit. We have an uh, dependent source here and this is independent source. We need to find Thevenin and equivalent. That means we need to find voltage here and also we need to find uh, the impedance here and because this has a dependent source, the technique we just discussed of finding uh, Z7 is that either we connect a voltage source here or we connect a current source and then find uh, mm -hmm. the resistance. So let's see. So first of all, how to find uh, voltage V7 or VAB? So you can see that the, this voltage is same as the voltage across this. So if you can find the voltage across this, so that will be our uh, Thevenin's voltage. Let's proceed. So this was the circuit. If we uh, take this loop and then we can find V Thevenin because this V Thevenin is same as the voltage across this point. So if, let's write the KCL equation at this point. Point A current entering 15, current leaving 0 0.5 I naught, current leaving I naught. So we can write 15 entering is equal to I naught plus 0 0.5 I naught. But I naught from here you can find, okay, I can calculate I naught to be 10 amperes. Now we apply KVL in this loop. This is, if you start from this point, because of this current, it is positive here and negative here. So negative I naught 2 minus J4 plus 0 0.5 I 4 plus J3 and plus V Thevenin equals 0 and putting the value of I naught in this equation to be 10 and by solving we find V Thevenin to be negative J55 which could also be written as 55 angle minus 90 volt. So we found V Thevenin. Now let's Okay, so to find uh, Z Thevenin now we remove the um, independent source, this is a current source, we uh, take it out. So this is the circuit that we have. And by redrawing and by connecting, sorry, by connecting a current source at the terminal uh, A and B, uh, we can find Z Thevenin. We have connected a current source of 3 amperes 
uh, why 3 amperes because this current is is actually dividing into these two parts in the ratio of 1 is to 2 so half is coming here and one is going in the other branch so ratio 1 is to 2 so if you take 3 amperes it will be easier to calculate so 1 ampere will go in this branch and 2 ampere will go in the other branch so let's uh, write the KCL equation so current entering at this point is 0.5 I naught and 1 I naught so from here we can find I naught to be 2 amperes now since we know this current if you can find out the voltage Vs then Z will be Vs divided by Im so for the, this we take the outer loop and we write the KVL equation so we're starting from here that is v na, Vs plus I naught 4 plus J3 and 2 minus J4 so minus Vs plus I naught 4 plus J3 plus 2 minus J4 these two uh, impedances are in series and this equals to 0 so from here we can find V as to be 2 uh, 6 minus J so we found V s we know I s therefore dividing the two we find uh, Z theta in so which is uh, 4.10.66 another example now in this case also we have an independent uh, current source and we have to find the thevenin equivalent here so we follow the same technique we find the voltage across this point and then by eliminating the um, independent current source we find z thevenin and by we have to connect either a current source or a voltage source here So this was the circuit the aim is to find a voltage across a b so let's mark the currents i1 i2 i3 and i4 at node 1 we have i1 entering and i2 and i3 leaving and from converting this into the voltage form I1 will be 0 minus V1 divided by uh, 4 minus J2 plus 5 and plus V1 minus V2 divided by 8 plus J4 so this is uh, the first equation at node 1 and we can uh, simplify this by either taking LCM or you can use your calculator and then separating the light term so this is the final equation that we have for loop one um, node one sorry then at node two if you see here this current I2 is coming entering current I3 is also entering and I4 is also entering so sum of the three is equal to zero and again converting this in form of a voltage I3 is 5 5 plus I4 is 0 0.2 V naught so 0 0.2 V naught and I2 from here is V1 minus V2 divided by this and solving uh, or putting the value of V naught from here you can see V naught is actually V1 minus V2 so V naught is V1 minus V2 so we put it here and finally we get the second equation and now solving these two equations 
these are the two equations by solving we find v2 we need to find v2 because v2 is actually v thevenin so v2 we found by solving these two so that means our v thevenin is equal to v2 equal 7.35 angle 72.9 degree so v thevenin found out uh, the z thevenin for this we have uh, eliminated the current source from here and in this case we have added a one volt voltage source in parallel and now if we can find out this current then voltage source is known voltage divided by the current will give us uh, z thevenin So again at node uh, number A, node A, we have I2 leaving, I3 uh, leaving and I, sorry at node A, this is node A, so I, I2 entering and I0 and IS entering and I4 entering, so all three entering equals zero. And then putting the values, I2 is actually from here to here. So zero minus V2 divided by these two impedances. So zero minus V2 or Vs divided by this impedance and plus this is 0 0.2 V0 and plus this current IS equals to 0. Simplifying, we get this equation. Okay, now in this uh, we already calculated uh, at node 1 IS is equal to 0 0.2 V0 plus Vs divided by this in the previous slide. We also note that Vs is 1 volt, so Vs is 1 volt. And also the relation of V0 with respect to this circuit. You can see that this voltage is dividing between these two. And so by voltage division rule, we can find V0 but the sign of V0 is opposite of what it should have been because of this current. Uh, this current flowing should have made it positive here and negative here. But in this case it is opposite, therefore we will have a sign change. So V0 is equal to negative of this Vs divided by the total impedance, divided by the total impedance multiply by the impedance across which V0 is being measured, so multiply by 8.04. So from here we get V0. Now uh, putting the value in the upper equation, in this equation, putting the value of V0, we can find or you can calculate IS. So IS is known now. This is IS and we know the voltage and therefore we can find Z is Vs over Is, so Vs is 1 and Is we have calculated here. So the end result is Z thevenin equals 4.473 angle minus 7.64. So I hope that this will give you some idea about the thevenin's theorem for AC.